You know what, spring break? We had our first injury. Hold that right there for a second. Look, okay, is it being stuck to there by blood? That's incredible. Hello and good morning everyone. We are starting out today. The kids are getting in school. Brexy is currently in class. Kirby's grabbing breakfast. You know what is special about today? Today is the last school day before we head into spring break and do all of our awesome plans. Oh wait, that's right. Tilly me. <laughs> Start in this day off super strong. Getting the kids all up. Getting ready. I told them I'll let you sleep in just a little tiny bit before school today. So I woke them up about 10 minutes before they had to be in class. Oh, hey, we're good. What's up? Hi. What have I told you? What? Do not wear that shirt on a regular basis. What? You guys don't know the story behind that. Their sister got accepted to BYU this fall and we are not really BYU fans in general. Except for now my kids wear their shirts all the time. They are really soft shirts but if you guys want a really soft shirt they sell University of Utah ones. Getting today underway. I'm gonna just hang out and get started with school for Miss Hazy today. Heading into spring break this week we're super pumped. We just had to document that Hazy did in fact get out of pajamas today. Got dressed into this fun yellow spring dress that she has. I did not iron it. Put a cute little bow in her hair. I'd like to take credit for helping her with her schoolwork, but her school does these amazing videos. Her teacher is doing the project. She gets to do it right along with them. It's Miss Lauren. She seems so nice. So as much as I'd like to take credit, I'm teaching Hazy. I'm literally doing nothing besides handing her the papers because her school has been so incredible. They send you home all the worksheets. They have a video to go along with every single thing that needs to be done. It's like seriously Five amazing. Star review. Five star review for sure. <laughs> We've loved her preschool. She is just going to be doing school at home today and I really only make her do school the three days during the week that she would have naturally gone to school. Sometimes hard to get her started. She's like, I don't want to do school. I don't want to do it. Every single time she starts, she has so much fun. We watch little videos of them reading books to her. We do that stuff at home too, but she definitely loves seeing the teachers at school. Kirby's in class right now too. His teacher's explaining everything. I've done this quiz also, so I get more free time. Brexton doesn't have that much work to do, honestly. I ordered him a few workbooks that are coming in the mail because I feel like he just needs more to do. Prue is definitely gets stuff done ahead of time. Just turn it in, I want it done with. Right guy, he likes to take his time on stuff. Might be why we've been working until five o'clock every day. Yeah. I don't think he's enjoying it. So we are working on learning how to work better and harder and faster. He's doing awesome. Yep. Crushing it today so far. Almost spring break, so you get a break <gasps> after this. My guy is learning about batteries today. He was watching this show. For electricity, and it said this one is nine volts. This one is 1.5 volts. This one's 1.5 volts. This is 1.5 volts. This is 1.5 volts. It's pretty cool. Just kind of weird that this has the same amount of energy as this. Is that what the teacher asked you to do? Hey, I don't know, but your teacher no. is calling you. You're in school. Get in there. Get in class. Get in class. She's in you don't have a hall pass right now. <laughs> hall pass. This is also something I grabbed for Hazy off of Amazon just to keep those fine motor skills working. We did one of these already today and she absolutely loved it. So we're just working on all sorts of projects. Kids are still in school. Crew's just sitting here playing this game called Prodigy. They are like obsessed with it and it's learning so I just allow it. The only time I have a hard time with Prodigy is when they're not doing their schoolwork that they need to be doing. They're doing Prodigy and I'm like, no. We've had to teach them a lesson. It's sometimes a struggle between two good things. Crew's hanging out with me. Hazy finished her schoolwork and went down to watch a show. While they're doing that, I decided to make up a little treat for them. These are really cute. These are just pretzels and then I put on these little candy melts and then you put them in the oven for about three minutes just to melt this and then you top them with M&Ms. I'm just gonna make a little treat for them. Tomorrow is general conference. Usually basically that weekend we just sit around and eat all the time. I'm going to be making these treats as well as making some chocolate popcorn for us for tomorrow. I'll show you how I make that one too. I'm gonna tell you guys really quickly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna show you the entire process. You can check it out on our blog. This is HowieBingham.com. Both of these treats are actually already up on there. I am remaking them to update the pictures. One bag of popcorn. The reason you put it in the bowl, you wanna get all the kernels to the bottom. Then you're gonna melt a cup of chocolate chips, half of a cup of baking chocolate. I chose pink because that's what I used on the other ones. After you get all of the kernels to the bottom, place your popcorn on a cookie sheet, drizzle the melted chocolate chips over it, and kind of toss it together to get it really coated. And then you can sprinkle in your sprinkles and M&Ms. And whenever you're done, the last step is to sprinkle over the melted baking chips. It's really simple, it's really fun. I'll show you guys the finished product. It's really pretty and really yummy. Two simple treats made. I'm going to, he's running crazy. I'm just gonna let these sit out and cool along with the other ones that I baked, the little teeny tiny pretzels. Here's the thing that I love about both of these treats. They're salty and sweet. You get the saltiness from the pretzel, but the sweet from the chocolate. Treats are made for the day. Yay, hooray. Ryler's still finishing school and then move on and do something a little bit more fun with the kids. On your left. 
Oh, it's shoes. Hurry. <laughs> shoes. Is it shoes? Yes! I heard Ryler running through the entire house a few minutes ago and I'm like, what is going on? It's like my teacher's doing a scavenger hunt for us. And you know what? I have to say, I am so impressed with how the teachers have been able to be creative while teaching them. So, <laughs> where's my band-aids? I'm taking them! She's putting them on a scavenger hunt so they're able to get up and move and I just think it's a fun way for them to feel like they're actually in school. She's running outside. I'm like, what is going on? I'm so impressed at the way that they're trying to make it fun for the kids. so sunny right now you guys it's like the sunniest i've seen it in a long time it's a little bit warmer than it has been you guys done with your school for today yeah, yeah. you're in a pop school right now mm -hmm. is this spring break yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah! Here's the trick shot, okay? Not a trick shot, a succession of catches. Crew's gonna throw it to me to start. I catch it as I drive by him. I throw it back to him, he catches it. He throws it to me as I'm hovering that way. I catch it there. I have to throw back against my body as the one wheel takes me that way to crew this way. No misses. Are you ready? Yes. Sandy. One, two, three. I gotta get it to you. Four. Ah! <laughs> Moments later. You know it's spring break. We had our first injury. First injury of spring break. Why don't we show them what we're working with? Brexy Doodle. You're like not even flinching, not even wincing, not even crying. Do you want to? Because I would want to. Hold that right there for a sec. Look, okay, is it being stuck to there by blood? That's incredible. Yeah, I know I have some big guys somewhere. I know we got a yeah, we got a big old one in there. I think didn't you get it out once for something very small? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think I used it was the stupid part. Because mom is prepared and recently oh my gosh, dude. And recently organized that. Just pulled out a little first aid kit. Every size bandage you can need, including this big dog right here, which is going to be the perfect size. Let me just have you hold that up really quick like that. That actually is like really soothing. Do you know that what hurts it, really bad like. is this part. No, it does not. Don't psych him out, jeez. He's not you, he's not a baby. The part that hurts is this part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never do that. Rexon, you are so tough. He ate it out there, so if you guys- Was that when I was out there and- No, it just happened. I'll tell you what happened. So he was riding Hazy Strider bike hoverboard underneath it, so he would use that to power the Strider bike, so it was that a combo bike. That seems like that could maybe not be a, a good choice. little recipe for disaster there, and I literally said to him, hey, if you're gonna be getting that crazy, we need to get on some protective you gear. Okay? And right then, he went down. Mm -hmm. Pants got a little bit of a tear. Perfect size, mom. And then I have another one. Oh, good. Yeah, double band-aids for Brexy kicking off spring break 2020. <laughs> Glad you're okay. Oh, mom, you forgot the most important part. On the cut, on the cut, the healing ointment of a mother's kiss. Oh, it's Isn't better. It better? <laughs> so with Brexy Doodle's injury, we're gonna bring things inside for a minute, just kind of slow it down just a bit. Some of us are not quite on spring break yet. Rye guy, almost on spring break, bro. It's so close, you can taste so it. So close. Okay. So close. <laughs> wow, that's you taste tasting. It. Spring break is delicious. In here, watching a little Brent Rivera. How you say it, guys? Brent Rivera? Funny guy, funny guy. Riviera, Brent Riviera, just hanging out. Brexy Doodle, how's the injury holding up? Pretty good? Kind of. Let me see it. I just wanna see the injury. All I can see is your giant muscles. Put your muscles away, please, so I can see the injury. Pickle chips, Rye Guy? Yes, please. How legit is Rye Guy's setup out here? That is so cool how you got it so high you can just swing in it. He lays back, he's got a pillow, watching some Danger Bros on his Kindle. I love it. What a so fun, fun little setup outdoors. I know you got the coat on, guys. I said this earlier, it's very, very sunny. It's gotten kind of cold, though. The heat's not here, but the sun is. <laughs> Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the heck? That looked like it was gonna be so short, but because you swung right into it, it was perfect. Oh, and right back in your hand. What? We've been having a ton of fun outside, just living it up on our very first day of spring break. And like I said, it has been sunny, not exactly warm, certainly not Turks and Caicos warm. Oh. However, hammock, football, and a 360 camera, I mean, we're basically there right now. Mom is getting ready for some action, it looks like, going down tomorrow and Sunday. We've got our general conference coming yes. up. It's gonna be, you may have already said this, unlike any we've ever had in the history of our lives because they are not having anybody except those participating even go to it. It's gonna be this big empty building where they go and talk, but then they'll broadcast it. We're gonna all participate via technology. And Mom has got some fun ways to keep the kids involved 
called engaged, paying attention to learning. I even have one for you. Oh my gosh, mom, thank you. Because you're the biggest one that distracts the children. Kind of felt like this is the one year I could get a nap since my parents aren't watching with us, but that's okay. Just no, no, no. <laughs> Gearing up for that, you guys, we are gonna be having dinner here in just a minute and we are having our world famous Friday night make your own pizza because it went over so well last time. I am so excited for barbecue sauce, bacon, and pineapple. That's what I was gonna say. It went over so well with us. I think the kids liked it, like they don't care. They'll take pizza anytime, but mom and I loved our pizza that we made so much was barbecue chicken pizzas except without the chicken and bacon instead. So good. They were stupid. We've been looking forward to it all week. We're gonna do it again tonight. A little homemade pizza action coming up soon. See if we can get these kids back inside. It's been fun. Like we're utilizing our front yard to the fullest. I don't think we've ever used our front yard as much as we're using it right now. Mom's gonna continue prepping these and then dinner will be underway. All right guys, we have Pizza Factory here in real life. Yeah, we are the pizza uh, We have your choices of barbecue sauce and regular pizza sauce. Cheese, bacon, baby pepperonis, olives, and pineapple. Oh, guys, what do you want? Rexy, what are you gonna have? Normal pizza sauce, then cheese, and then a little bit of pepperoni. Oh, I love it. Hazy girl, what's yours? This, and this, and this. Okay, that's everything. Thank you. Good job. All right, guys, you going traditional sauce over here today? Okay. Barbecue sauce? All right, guys, going barbecue. Kirby do traditional sauce or barbecue sauce? Uh, traditional. Almost sauce them up to start, and then we'll let you guys put on all your toppings. Switching up the routine from what you guys saw last night. Tonight, mom is gonna throw these in the oven right now while I go up and assist the kids with baths. We're gonna do baths before dinner tonight. That way we can eat and just kind of be in and resting for the night. We'll go right into the movie, but these are looking really good, you guys. Kids got pretty creative. Bye guys is piled high. Rexy wanted to throw like at least one of everything on here, so there's like a random <laughs> olive. He said there's a pineapple buried in there somewhere. I don't know where. He is such a goof. Mom and I, barbecue classic here. Mom goes pineapple, I go extra bacon, sometimes pepperoni. These are gonna be good, mom, I'm excited. I'm really excited. They were so good last time. As I head up here to help out with baths, I gotta say, first of all, tonight, don't think we're gonna be doing an Orbeez bath tonight. That was a lot of fun, though. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. Had a ton of fun with that. And the kids have actually had a ton of fun playing in it kind of all day. Whenever they have a chance, they go stick their foot or their hand in it. Related to that, I noticed that we got our comments taken down again today. We were on such a streak there. Almost the entire time we've been staying at home, we've had comments, and it's been so good. It's been so much fun to be able to interact with you guys, to read those comments, to see them, have the conversation going, some of the funny stuff that we see, some observations that you guys make. We've loved it. Got very comfortable and used to it. Almost thought that it might be the new norm, but just saw. They got taken down on that video as well as the fifth grade quiz one that got left up on some other videos. So I guess you just never know what you're gonna get. So if you can comment, throw a comment below. If you can't, we're sorry. Just know it's not us taking them down. It will just make us that much more grateful when we do have them. Rex to do it, he'll finish up his pizza. And then also it is your turn to choose the movie no, for tonight. This is Pizza. Oh wow. I think Braxton's going through a growth spurt because he had like three lunches today with snacks and I said you're not gonna eat your dinner. Not only did he eat his dinner, he's also eating Cruz dinner, who's apparently not going through a growth spurt over there. Braxton Doodle, your turn for movie tonight. What movie are you gonna choose? Maybe Sonic. But please say Sonic because we didn't finish it. I want to finish it, please. It was so funny and so good. Can we please finish it? Sure. Yes! Officially spring break underway. Only difference is we're not actually packing our bags to go out of town. I was gonna say, you seem all chipper and I'm just like, yippee skippy. Yippee skippy. Our vacation is we can go for the Guys, car wash. I am willing it to be a positive experience because we it's, all we've got. it's all we've got hey. to work with. It's not what we want, it's not what we hope for. We definitely wanted to be in Turks and Caicos, definitely yeah. wanted to be traveling because we can't travel, but travel is something that we are passionate about and we love and is on our mind. I did think it'd be kind of fun for our bonus video on Sunday, which will come out the day after you guys see this one, so tomorrow basically. On Sunday, our bonus video is going to be mine and Mindy's trip to New York when we left the kids. One of our very rare, like what, second trip as a couple in our entire married life. We did the one on a cruise and then this one. Yeah. Yeah. So that trip is going to be uploaded as a full length movie like we've done with some of the other trips in the past, which yeah. has been fun. And I just felt like, you know what? This is something that is very unique right now. New York Times Square does not look like it does in the video that you will I see know. tomorrow. But it also, just a great scene and a memory of it what was it was so like, fun. what it will be like someday soon. Enjoy that bonus video, you guys. Should be a lot of fun. Conference coming up tomorrow. A lot of activity here in the house. <laughs> a lot of activity here in the house is all there is. We'll be doing you a lot. You know what? We're just gonna, just we're gonna change it up a little. We're just gonna hang out. Let's switch it up. Spend time together. Do the vlog in the kitchen tomorrow. Should we do that? Should we? <laughs> Guys, do come back though. We love you so much. Thanks for being a part of our lives. Thanks for being a part of our family. Thanks we for making so this journey much. super much more fun and enjoyable. Super much more fun and enjoyable. That was on the fifth grade quiz. It was a bonus question. It's time to get to bed. We, <laughs> we love, love you guys. guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. You. Oh. Catch. And back to you. Catch it. Catch it. Oh. One. Two. Oh. One. Oh. Good heavens, Bizzle! <laughs> Super much more fun and enjoyable.